Welcome back here at Story Gaming for a new episode of The Realms of Arcania and The Blade of Destiny. So I'm in Prim and holy moly do I have lots of options to travel here. But I would like to take the yeah shortest one just to go over to Ronenshafen and see where there is the Dragon Cave. I think it's it's down this path, something like that. So let's uh, let's see. I'm not going to the lighthouse. I'm not sure why why this is even a location. Seven ducats is lots of money, and 13 hours is not very quick. But um, there is no other choice. I mean, I have to go there anyway. And here we go. So, whoa! What a bad weather. There is. A merchant and a um, couple of other buildings. People running around in the snow. Snow, rain, whatevs. Um, there's the exit. Whoa, 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 sorry. There's not really much to see, is there? Oh, wait. There is. A Swafnir temple and a healer and there is my travel opportunity to leave that village again and now let's let's have a look I have uh, I have to go to the lighthouse the question is just which path to take uh, so uh, I let let's take the central route first I really I really don't know which Some one is farmers the best. come down the path yeah, we could ask them. Maybe they know where the Dragon's Cave is. The Isle of Runin is a big, and its big lighthouse are an important guide for seafarers in the Gulf of Prim. Yeah, I can, I can see that. Tells the farmers unanimously. Well, thanks for this information. That was not very helpful at all. <laughs> okay, it's evening. So uh, let's put Vindariel again to the front. Find some supplies. We have water, we have food. You find an elm leaf. That's going to be a nice evening. And then we sleep for six hours. Oh, wait, what's that? More cultists. Um, three of them, actually. But none with a bow, so that's a plus. <laughs> Here we go. Chirin, give this one. Uh, nice welcome. And Arik, you're asleep. That I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like the fact that you're still sleeping while this guy tried to hit you. Okay. Um, this is Vindariel. I would like you to change your overall weapons. And um, yeah, you can give give this guy a shot. Why not? Hmm. You missed, however. So, Arik is still sleeping. If I go here, there is a chance that this guy might now attack Torfin, which I would really appreciate, but I probably am not that lucky. <laughs> oh, I am. Good. That's great. So, Arik, would you please wake up now? Everyone is fighting and you're sleeping. That's kind of weird. So, Chirin, attack this guy. I will then uh, bring Arbosh right in the middle of this. So, this guy should either go for him or for Chirin with this next action. Probably going for Chirin. <laughs> okay, look at this. I was wrong. Again. Are you running already? Coward. Nine points of damage and Turin, will you end it? Yep, he's down. So that leaves only one. And you woke me up for that? Good. 14 points of damage. <laughs> Come on, if, if Chirin lands another hit, he probably is dead. So this guy escaped. Let him run. And two steps. Now, please do a good hit. 
No, that was a new round and he had a parry action. Okay. <coughs> now his weapon broke. He took eight points of damage ah! and he's down. <laughs> that was quick. That was really quick. Oh, a silver ring. Let's keep that one. Probably not worth anything. No, no, and no. So let's leave that stuff here and just continue off our way. Um, a path, barely visible, winds between the rocks here. Ideal for an ambush, you think. After really? some time, you see an opening in the rock face. Not of natural origin, it appears. Inside, stairs lead down into darkness. Do you want to? <laughs> yeah, I want to turn back and continue my journey. Because that could be just like, uh, you know, way too much excitement. But, no. Let's go in there and find out. Arik is uncomfortable. Yeah, that does not look like a dragon's cave, right? But uh, I think it is. Or at there least... There is a hole in the wall in front of you. Do you want to reach into it? Yeah, sure. A light fever. Oh, she just got bitten by a rat. Um, why are you up front, by the way? That doesn't make sense. Mm. Now, can I do something about that? I was not very clever of me, but um, however. Uh, you will use your talent to treat diseases on terrain. Don't tell me it's traumatic fever. Oh, come on. An elixir could do anything. Yeah, wait a second. I have, I think I do have something to cure that. I have it right there. But before I do that, before I really waste this thing, I have to break camp, save the game, and then drink this cure. That should work. It didn't. She still has traumatic fever. Are you kidding me? What do I have this for? Okay, quick save then. I mean, that's why I did a save game. <laughs> Stupid. Resourceful health. Oh, it's only dull skull. Well, yeah, totally forgot about that. I read that a couple of episodes ago. There is a hole no. is overcome with curiosity Aww. and feels compelled to reach inside the hole. Aw, oh, come on. <laughs> there is a hole in the wall. In yeah, front. let's do it. <laughs> I will end up having everyone uh, with traumatic fever before we reach the bottom of this. You stand before the corpse of a dwarf. You cannot detect any wounds, but his face is a mask of pain. Oh, that doesn't sound good, does it? Well, it's eczema in the body. And here we go. A belt of strength. And a chainmail. Mm. I will give that one to Arbush. I have a healing potion, which will come in handy. The big question is, whom will I give that to? And does it work immediately? So, okay, you already have a belt. I mean, you could change that, but let's first see if it works immediately. So she's got 15 and it doesn't work. So I have to identify that. Uh, that's not perfect, but um, let's do it anyway. I want to, to use that one. So where is it? Where is the belt? Where's the belt? Hello? Where is the belt? That's the skull belt. Are you kidding me? Oh, there it is. So Analytica. Good. It had some magical properties. Strength plus three. Oh, that's disappointing. In the original game, it was plus five. Good. However, uh, plus three is better than nothing. Uh, let's give it back to Arbush since he's carrying lots of stuff already. And push his strength to, look at this, 22. Um, that is good, but I 
don't really like the fact that everyone has traumatic fever now. That's not good. Good. Um, but I will fight through that. I don't want to uh, rest a lot in this dungeon, so I will do it regardless. And um, after that, go back to Runa's house. The stone seems to be loose in the wall. Yeah. A small lever is behind it. Do you want to pull it? Sure. You hear a quiet click. I hate that. <laughs> I don't know what's what it is doing. I think uh, this might lead to another area. Uh, let's save the game before the door. Arbush, open it. Let's go inside and what do we have there? Pirates! Oh! We haven't had pirates uh, for quite some time now. Well, okay, let's go here and attack this guy. He parried. Now I need Torfin here to shield Vendariel against that one. Arbush, if you hit that, you will Ow. do insane damage. No, you won't. Only 10. Well, that's disappointing. Good. Take one step back and shoot at him. Ow. I could have shot at this guy. Uh, good. I, it should do it for now. I have to, however, take another step back with Vindaria before I can go and support um, support Torfin in his battle against this pirate. Oh, he did hit, however, for 12 points. Now, Arbush, 9. I take two more then I can move Turin over here and this guy would rather go for Abash or Torfin although he should probably flee since he just broke his weapon or lost it I think Arik you also go here um, let's hope they won't get any reinforcements now Turin two steps there attack him he parried. Now Torfin could potentially finish him off with a good hit. Oh, well, that was not enough, I thought. But well, so they have more. Yeah, but he's fleeing. And he's also fleeing. <laughs> yeah, so everyone is running away. That's good. Vindariel, take two steps, then you should be able to shoot at this guy. But you missed. Okay. Two, four. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's attack him anyway. I was just trying to find out if Arbush, how far he would be able to run. But he wouldn't have reached this area, so. He still will not. You see, there's just one step missing. But it's okay, so he can go around. Oh, yeah, that was a missed opportunity. <laughs> However, they're dead. Do we get any loot from this? I actually do. Uh, cutler, yeah, but nothing of value that I would actually care to take. What was that? Just an empty room with some pirates in there. Okay, now let's uh, save this for now and then find out what is here. I mean, this could very well be a secret door, but it doesn't seem like that. There's a door. I'm not going this way now. There is another battle. Oh, okay. Another three pirates. Okay, yeah, that's not, that's not bad. We can totally do that. Take two steps, please, and then shoot at this guy. And hit him. Good one. Nine points of damage. I mean, that's... Now we're talking. This is damage. Chirin. That's only two steps to get to this one, right? Okay. You attack him. 14 damage. Very good. Um, Torfin. Same one. 
And he's down. 34. That was a nice crit there. Cool. Mm. Yep. Vindariel. Mm. Take another step to here. And then shoot at him. Good. That was two hits from you on this guy. So if I focus Torfin and Arbush on him and both hit, he should be dead. And that was 12 damage from Cherin right there. Good. 14. And he's dead. Like I said. This is running perfectly for me. You failed. Torfin. That was a hit. 13. If you hit, he's probably dead. 20. Yep. Good. That was quick. And still lots of stuff I won't take with me. I don't I simply don't have the room for keeping that stuff. So what do we have here? Just a big, big rock in the middle of this room. Okay. Now, um, there's a door. There's an open door. I think I will just open this door because if we take a look here, um, this will probably lead me in. Do I see a treasure chest there? So this might lead to a corridor, another door, and a small room for goods. Come on, Arbush. Open the door. See? A small corridor. There is a hole in the wall in front of you. Do you want to reach into it? Sure, I will. Arbush gets bitten by red again. I should be... Looking more closely, this after several attempts, succeeds in opening it. Thank you, Arbush. That will break... Oh, look at this. Yeah, there is a treasure room and there are two treasure chests in here. This is great. Now, let's open this one and see what's inside. Ooh. Oh, healing potions. Very nice. Very nice. I will give the big one to Vindariel and the small one to Torfin. And we get another chest, which I'm going to open right now. Yeah, I know you're uncomfortable. Shut up. And open the chest. Oh, I broke my lockpicks, really? Lucky I got spare one, huh? Oh, that's even better. Magic potions. Give them all to Arik. Um, since Arik needs more astral energy. Drink that one immediately. And you're back up to 64, uh, 65 actually. And 65 provides me with uh, some flexibility in combat situations to cast some... A trigger tile appears to be let into the floor in front of you. It is barely detectable and you only have your excellent perception to thank that you discovered it at all. Do you want to attempt to disarm it? Sure. Um, sure, let's do that. Nothing happens. Okay. Watch out! Cries suddenly, saving the rest <laughs> from walking right into the trigger of the trap in front of you. Okay. So... Lots of traps in here, huh? And another door. I have to save now a lot for, for every door, basically. I could, however, just ram the door in, but um, he didn't succeed. Let's try it again. Okay. Uh, since I only have one lockpick left, right, I have to be very conscious about that. Because ending up in a dungeon without you any lockpicks... face a statue with a sacrificial bowl. Do you want to drop some money in it? Oh, that's interesting. But whom do we sacrifice that to? How many silvers do you want to sacrifice? Uh, let's just say, like, I don't know, 50. That's five ducats. That's okay. The money vanishes when it drops into the bowl 
and a sonorous voice booms. Never try to trick a dragon. Okay. Yeah, I will not. Okay, but that's that's all. No, I, I've I've already done that. Okay, so this area is explored. There's the door. Oh wait, there is first a wall. There's the door. So this is a normal door which I can pass through. And this is an open one. Uh, no, this is the open one. And this is the closed one. So let's uh, first go through that one. And see what's in here. Nothing. This is just one big empty room. Huh. That's weird. Okay, so there is only one way we can use now, and this is the door to it. Let's open it. And there's another big room without anything in there. The room oh. is completely empty. The floor does not even have dust on it. And if there's no dust, Suddenly, then Suddenly, a terrifying ah. figure emerges from the floor. With a deafening roar, the giant shape launches itself at you. You are barely able to grip your weapons in your fear. Do you want to fight the demon anyway? Hell yes. Yeah, it's a hash dot, right. Okay, um... You please uh, cast a Fulminictus Full on that minictus. guy. Fulminictus! Good. 11 points of damage. Vindariel, you cast another Fulminictus on that guy, please. Fulminictus! <laughs> Don't play around with demons, just kill them. Um, the debuffs of that thing are really not worth risking anything for it. So... Just don't. <laughs> okay, uh, let me see that. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, let's go through that door and see what's be. Oh, oh, more pirates. One, two, three. Oh, you scumbags. Shoot at this guy. That's a hit. You, please run. Yeah, I, I invested lots of energy uh, fighting the demon. I mean, that was like uh, 23 something, 30 astral energy. But I didn't want to risk anything with that demon. And I was lucky that the magic users were really, um, were really able to act fast on this. Okay. Ow. Oh, they're all shooting. I hate that. <laughs> this is so... I so hate that. Okay, Vindariel, shutting. Ah, she missed. Shireen, one step. And... Oh, no, I misclicked. Oh, damn it. Okay, he will not run. He will attack Arbush now, but uh, that was not what I had in mind. You run here. I'm not sure if he will move. Ow. Yeah, he shoots at Arbush, that's okay. As long as you don't shoot at Vindariel, I mean, she really took some hits there. <coughs> that's all okay, no problem here whatsoever. <coughs> and he shoots at Arbush. Okay, that's a good constellation now. Um, Vindariel will now focus on this guy from back here. While he'll, he's shooting Ow. at Shireen. Yep, that was a hit. How much? Can we go back to the overview? Seven points of damage. Okay, no. Shireen, he parried. Okay, Arbush. He parried. Wow. That was a hit from Torfin for 25 hit points. And he's running. Of course he's running. 25 is... A lot. 
Vidariel missed her shot. Shireen needs to run and cannot attack anymore this round. You stay there and you please attack this guy. Failed. Hmm. Where are you running? If I place you here, he will still be able to shoot. And he will shoot at you. Okay. So let's run there. I just don't want to, to force any new targets back here on these guys. Um, because that sucks. Uh, if I go here, will I be able to shoot? Yes. Great. And that's a hit. 19. Wow, that was a critical hit, actually. So Jareen could end this. 10. Okay, now Torfin. If you hit, he's dead. Yeah. And another 15. So this guy is toast. I will now position here. And can shoot at this guy. That's a risk I'm taking right now because um, the idea is... Well, since Shireen cannot attack anyway, I will bring her over here. So she's the closest target for his ranged attacks. And he should not go for Vindariel. And if I'm really lucky, Torfin will kill him immediately. No, he just hits him. But like I said, he will attack Shireen now. You are so ugly, no wonder you become a pirate. Ah, yeah, that was not what I had in mind. Sometimes I'm just too fast clicking things. Oh, he's still not dead, but he's running. Okay. So, we're done here. Hmm. Scrya, Scrya. Chris, a Chris? Ah, it's not a Chris, actually. That is more a throwing axe. I I smell another translation error. However, uh, these guys are not relevant for me. So let's just explore a bit more. And this room is also done. Now explore on this side. Is there another door? Yeah, there is, so... Let's... Go to the next level! And save. And have a look around. Okay... How can I see... It's going upstairs again. Well, that's weird. However, I'm uh, going to make a cut here and explore the second level of this cave in the next episode. I hope you had fun. If you did, um, hit the thumbs up button. Also, subscribe to the channel. And I see you in the next episode. Until then, bye.